Welcome back to another Thursday Trails episode. Our local bike park, Christchurch Adventure Park, now offers a really cool initiative of Wednesday and Friday chairlift access night rides during the winter months. Unfortunately I'm sitting here at home with a broken fibula so I can't join in on tonight's action. But here's some footage of me and the lads getting stoked out on a top to bottom lap of the park during a test session last year. Down the blue single track, yeah yeah nah and the flow jump trails lord of the possums and handle the jandal. Getting good filming on that thing? About to find out. Bit of a tester here. As you probably know, moving into the cooler months it can be hard to find the time to ride, with late sunrises and early sunsets, ruling a lot of people out of pre or post work riding in daylight Woo! hours. Personally, I also like to take a step back from riding too much in the winter, as it gives me a chance to focus on my other passion, skiing, so hunting unicorn powder days becomes the primary focus. Some time off the bike also helps to reinvigorate my stoke for next summer. That said, for over the last 10 years I've always found some time to go night riding every winter. It can be hard to motivate yourself to get out in the dark and cold, but once you're moving it's great fun and certainly spices things up. It makes old trails feel fresh, as even with the bright lights it takes some time to adjust. Depth, speed perception and relative vision change. So pesky objects on the trail like loose rocks can sneak up on you very quickly. But jump on a chairlift, throw on some modern lights, and you don't really have any excuses not to get multiple winter laps in the dark. Just take it easy out there for your first laps. <laughs> Stick to trails you've recently ridden that you're comfortable on, and work your way up to the harder stuff. There we go. Huge, huge chain on, bro. Cinder. Oh, that's a big rock. As you can see, the downhill bike is a bit of an overkill for these trails, and it was a push to keep up with the boys on their hardtail and enduro bikes. But that didn't make it any less fun, and how good was that view over the city? Definitely not a big bike track. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> High speed, eh? Rough. Don't feel this, eh? I run in mine, it's like a little, more of a waist pack, so my cable's a bit short. <laughs> <laughs> you should run up just run, like Run it as a chesty. Yeah, right. some kind of a bra. <laughs> bra. Run the bra, eh? Right? Yeah. Run the bra. Le brasier. High bar brasier. If you're loving this and thinking of heading up yourself, be sure to take warm clothes. It's freezing cold at this time of the year, especially on the left. And you will need quality riding lights. When I first started out, we used homemade lights that were powered by heavy lead acid batteries and featured halogen lights that weren't that bright, fragile, didn't last long and weighed a shit ton. I recommend a minimum of one helmet mounted and oh. another on your handlebars. This gives you full coverage and a backup. You'll see during the video one of my chibis from AliExpress cut out halfway down, so don't skip out like I did. Go and see the lads at Goat Cycles, they'll get you sorted with some quality product. Oh, 
I've lost my front light. <laughs> ah! Lucky it's so bright there. Oh my god. Lost the light on the first corner. <laughs> Just someone play some drone bass, please. Yeah. Okay. LA Express warranty. <laughs> More than six. Go. <laughs> Love it. Oh Ay, ay, ay. Oh, flat hurt.
Oh, I could have juggled it. <laughs> oh no! Not committing. Sorry bro. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I nearly went off the edge. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no! Doctor. Oh! Rough. Oh, hard, such hard work on this bike. <laughs> Sick. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it will inspire you guys to get out for some night rides yourself. Right on and we'll see you next time.